Well, hello YouTube. This source code is from last tutorial when we were implementing bubble sort in a C programming language. So I don't want to go through all this all over again. I'm going to put link down there in the description of the video. So basically the thing here is we need to export this into dedicated function because it's relatively easy. It's like copy pasting. So let's do that. Okay. To have dedicated function void, we're going to call it bubble, let's say sort or whatever you like. And what kind of stuff that function needs to grab? Well, first of all, that's uh, integer array, and that is array, first element, and then number, number of elements. So these are inputs for that function. Now we can pretty much copy paste a lot of from here. Okay, so I'm gonna actually grab everything okay and put it here and i'm gonna cancel this hard-coded number of elements because that we will get when we call function down there okay so in the main section we just have pure array and rest of the stuff is a pretty much same here so question is how we are going to get that number of elements which is of course integer well we're gonna use size of operator or function what is the term here operator or function i don't know so anyway what is the target here? How to get that number of elements? Well, we are going to divide this big size with the smallest size and then with the sizes we will get elements. So let's do that. Array divide with size of something that is at position zero, let's say. Size of array something that is at zero. Okay. And now let's just call this function. Okay. Bubble sort. What is the first stuff that we need to pass? It is that array. Okay. Array. And what is the second stuff here? Integer number. And we do have it. So let's put that here. And pretty much we are done. There you go. Our array is a sort. So of course, before uh, sorting it, before getting a number of elements, let's say, you can just print what is original order here. So I'm going to steal this from a function and put it, let's say, down there. It's not necessary, but if you like to see what's happening, then why not? So this is unsorted order, like printf unas or ted unsorted array, let's say, and then you will get the number of those thingies. Oh, right. So number must be above. Sorry about that. Before we need to use something, we must have it obviously and let me see for x blah 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 what's the problem x undeclared oh right so we must declare also x here integer x okay and this is a starting point so we don't need to fix anything pretty much in this in this piece of code and there you go blah 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 sorted array right i need to go to next line which is pretty much right over here i think something like this I think this will work. Oh, there you go. So unsorted, yeah, let me check the order, of course, blah, 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 that's cool. And sorted array, that's also cool. Why I did have that problem a couple of seconds ago? Because sorted array is concatenated. So I suppose this problem, okay. But I don't have spaces right now. Okay, so that's cool. We basically fixed that. So what we have done, we just exported the algorithm into dedicated function. And the only thing here that you need to do like manually, if you don't want to print original order, is to get manually that number of elements. Now, this is very simple scenario where you have hard-coded array directly. You are not grabbing end user input and you can calculate that number of elements very, very easily. So if you want to simplify this, you definitely don't need X in here. You don't need printing of unsorted array. This is just for, you know, for reference reasons, because at the end of the day, we are just practicing bubble sorting here. So this will work. There you go. Now, if you're kind of confused what we are doing when we talk about sorting, this is what's happening. X and Y are for external and internal for loop, because we need to roll from X to number of elements minus one. Why is that so? Because if you do have 10 elements, when we are sorting with bubble sort, we always do have for one smaller number of pairs. So if you have 10 elements, you have nine pairs. This is why you need to say minus one here. And minus six minus one here is because when you are done with this one, you need to disregard it. So that's the basically story 
about minus a number minus one and number minus six minus one and here this is just the swapping stuff like if number on the left side this one is a bigger than number on right side this one for example then we need to introduce temporary variable push four into that into that temporary variable then left side left side this side this place hold not placeholder but uh, container let's say generic container will get the value from right side and something that is on the right side which is this place will get the value that is uh, previously stored in a temporary variable well guys that's pretty much it in this tutorial we basically done a lot of copy pasting and our source code generally doesn't differ much from a source code in the last tutorial so I definitely advise you to go check that tutorial to fully understand what is happening here this what we have done in this tutorial is pretty much mechanical stuff just exporting algorithm into dedicated function okay thank you for watching subscribe if you didn't share this channel with other people and see you in a couple of minutes ciao ciao